Are you ready? Can we go now? There's no reason to delay this mission. Let's go. Finally! Follow me! We need to leave the ghetto. How will you get past the guards? I know a way. Meet me on the other side. Wait, what? The other side! Did you hear the one about the magical and the pregnant pig? No? It's hilarious. I think it starts with the magical and the pig. See? Easy. Gotta save us. You're playing with your life, boy. I don't need a goddess to save me. I'm very good at climbing. How did you escape the keep? What? I, I didn't. How do you know about that? Oh, everyone knows the Apostle escaped the keep on the night of his execution. There's even a puppet show about it. Shadow, take me. And why do you think I'm that Azadi? Mysterious Apostle guy escapes the keep. Mysterious Azadi joins the resistance a few days later. I may only be ten years old, and I may have purple skin, but I'm nobody's fool. Clearly. What else do you know about me? Not much. You were wounded by Azadi bullets, you almost died. You're working with the Resistance. Oh, and you betrayed your people. This is it. This is where they have their meetings and speeches and stuff. Are you sure? Positive. Sometimes I listen in. They talk about magicals and about how we've ruined the world and taken everything from them. It makes me sad listening to that. I didn't know magicals were so bad. No wonder humans hate us. We don't... <sighs> Look, boy. Bip. Those people are not good people. You have done nothing wrong. You can't help the way you look or the color of your skin. How and where you've been born doesn't make you a bad person, or less of a person. It just makes you you. It's what you do with your life that matters. Now, Scram, get out of here. Go back and be careful. But... You promised. No arguments. Fine, fine. What? A tip would be appreciated. In recognition of all my hard work. <laughs> You're really something. Here. Now run back, you little thief. I'll need to find a way to get past that goon. Greetings, brother. What? Who's there? God damn it. You gave me a right scare, mate. Where in the Seven Hills did you come from? The Shadows. Step aside, I'm late for the assembly. Right, of course. Blood and land, brother. The important thing is not what I say, but how I say it. I must appear forceful and show that I belong at this... I'm not going to just keep guessing. Sooner or later, even this brainless fool will see through my veil. We'll keep this simple. The obvious answer to blood and land... Blood and land. Yeah, all right. Wait, that's my line. What's the passphrase? Blood and... You don't belong here. This is a private gathering. You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. How dare you put this muck on my door? Just because I'm human don't mean I'm interested in your specious propaganda. I've lived next door to Dol Murray most of my life, and they've never once done me or mine any harm. Here's what I think of your so-called humanist rally. And your honor Hillarist can go fuck himself. He's a traitor. You all are. When the Azadi finally pack up and leave, we will remember what you've done. Be sure of that. Excuse me. Balance! Where did you come from, eh? I didn't even see ya. What do you want? I don't want no trouble. That piece of paper you tore. 
Do you have the other half? What piece? The National Front Flyer? Why? Who are you? Someone who's on your side. Well, I don't know. You sound as Ardy to me. What do you want that flyer for? Long story. I need it to find a traitor. A traitor to the rebel cause. Oh, right. Well, if it means getting back at that National Front filth, then by all means. Take it. And Balance bless you for standing up to those bastards. Honor and humanity. It's the slogan used by the National Front. That must be the passphrase I need to get into the meeting. Step aside, brother. God! You snuck up on me. Blood and land. Blood, land, honor and humanity. That's what these people claim to care about. They cling to their slogans like drowning men cling to driftwood. Honor and humanity. Faith and family, brother. Go on through, mate. The meeting's already begun. If you haven't seen Mr. Illyris speak before, you're in for a proper treat. That man is an example to us all. Brothers. Sisters. Cousins. Brave, humble, human folk. Welcome to this meeting of the National Front for Faith and Family. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity of your time. Thank you for braving these ill-lit occult courts in your tireless search for truth. Yes. Oh, yes. Despite the selfless work of our benefactors, the enemy lurks out there. In the shadows. Look about. Look. Fear them, the enemy. For they are close. They are everywhere. Honor Hilaris. He smell. leads this national front for faith and family. That foreign spice magic. Nothing in particular stands out. It won't. Nothing my in particular heart. stands out. Standing before me. She's humming to herself. Standing up for what's it's a tune good I recognize. and fair. A sweet Glory, lullaby. cousins. There's nothing Glory unusual the about that person. In the light of the goddess. Yes. Goddess. Yes. That I spoke man, recently with our Pope benefactors. Oda. I spoke to them about that. changed his clothes or taken a bath in the months. He magical. smells of lavender oil. Yes. Maybe he's a physician. Yes. I spoke Her posture to them. is odd. I said, Listen it's almost to like she's tilting slightly to one side. Humans he reeks of tobacco. Brought to their and as a variant, unless my nose deceives me. Driven to bank. Hammy used to smoke to this. moral corruption. I'm Simple, too far away to get a real sense men of that person. And women There's nothing unusual about that person. I'm too far away to get a real sense of that person. Nothing in particular stands out. I said to them, I said, Her clothes smell we strongly need of tar to and make smoke. A stand. She must now. be a factory worker. Now. He smells of lavender oil. We need to rally. Maybe goddess. Behind no, our benefactors. No, no, no. Behind There's our own. There's nothing unusual about that person. And I said to them, I said. He must be wearing we leather undergarments. They need what we They make an unpleasant need. creaking noise. Someone to stand up His left arm keeps twitching. Human cause. He appears to have some sort of muscular dysfunction. Mercurial. Her clothes smell strongly so of tar and smoke. She must be a factory worker. I visit the tower often. I, I've even broken fast with our bastion immorality. On our Hilaris. He leads now, this national no front for faith and family. No one says we have to abandon our gods. No, 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 no. No, the light of the goddess. Oh. 
The construction of the tube network appears to be picking up pace. There are wagon loads of metal pipes everywhere, and the laborers work into the night. God, is I'm tired of standing here. Who's there? Where have you been? Where have you been? At a national front meeting, identifying your turncoat. Uh, it takes a traitor to find a traitor. Think you can point him out for us? I can. Go on then, before we lose him. He smells of tobacco. Crispy, I'm not familiar with the scent. It's probably a Northland's weed. Mercuria's foremost sandwicher here, ready to perform sandwiching to your exact orders. He smells faintly of camphor, or the pine forests of the north. Sandwiches. Maybe lavender oil. I've got tasty sandwiches. Easy, pal. Something tied you over before. Who are you people? Where are you taking me? Are you got a wrong man? You're back in there. You can't trust the magicals. After my shift's over, I think I thought I heard someone. Anyone there? If I take a short nap standing up, will you cover for me? No. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated or upscale clientele, and I'm sure he's happy about that. What's the matter? She says. What's the matter? That must be the publican. Alvik, I think his name was. I don't see there's a man with a bloody spear behind the curtain. Where what can I get you, my good man? Goddess knows I'm not a drinking man. A glass of iced wine, please. Iced wine. Wine and. Ice. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Here's your merry minstrum, da. 
Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes, your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. I should be getting home. Just one more. One more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started. And then I'll head home. At least they're not a raucous or unruly lot. Alvik keeps them in check. Ah, oh, finally. There you are. Sit. Please. I... S Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the Resistance, and I'm not a Zadi. If you're not with the Resistance and you're not a Zadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me, and I can either make your life easier or a lot worse. She claims to be my friend and then she threatens me. Not the best way to begin a conversation. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. Who in Shadow's name is this woman? If she's looking for me, I need to know why. I will have your name. You will have my name. So forceful. So like a caged animal. You're a popular man, Kian Avani. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll even the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends. And enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me, Anna? I like the emphasis. You're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How I did just you... wanted a chance to introduce myself, and now I have. So it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. If not, Olvik can pass a message. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you, friend. Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight. Unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvani. The witch and the vicar had six shots of liquor and presently went for a walk. Come on, said the clergy, a man has his urges, but the witch only wanted to talk. Who was that? What? Who? Where? That woman. Who was she? A mystery woman, huh? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I don't go looking at every woman who passes by. Liko? Uh-huh. Did you see a mystery woman? No. You need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But Azadi drink here. All that keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. Visibly. You have passes? Sure do. But we it's... shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah. That. Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do? No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Yet. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs! No? Yeah, me neither. Okay, we really need to go. Come on. So what did your mystery woman look like? She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. 
course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a... a type. Really? Guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. I'm not a... God, I... I've not had much time for... for women in my life. Leaping leapers, are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous! But how did that come out of my mouth? Leaping... leap furs? Nope. Just nope. You do like women though, right? Shadow take me. Not that there's anything wrong with... you know... In fact, I could have That's set you up enough, with... That's quite enough, I don't know, this just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and... Blah! It's really disturbing. Passes. What are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind at our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Dancing? Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Alvani. You may be of some use to us for a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Debt? Never you mind, Zidling. This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling? Really? Really? You know I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age and I've already been with several that men... That mouth thing again, Zidling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. <laughs> <laughs> 